So y'all want a shot of some real life ugly? Here's my sewing desk that has not been cleaned in about three weeks. It's very ugly. Oh yeah, it's bad. Projects left half out. A little basket of socks. That's where I was going through my uh, drawers looking for the right type of elastic and had some fabric projects left out. Yeah, it's bad. Just terrible. I am the messiest seamstress ever. All my stuff's just buried. And you know what? You cannot enjoy sewing when it gets like this. So periodically I have to come in and clean this crazy up. So this is my before. I'm also going to be moving this. This is currently in my husband and I's bedroom. But I'm going to be moving it downstairs um, and incorporating it into our living room. See my poor searcher thread holder. It's, it's cockeyed. It's all weird. Anyway, I'm going to be moving this downstairs into my living room here in the next couple days. And I will try to show y'all a nice cleaned up after. How about that? So yesterday, my beautiful husband heard me mention that I did plan on moving my sewing downstairs into our living room. And look what he helped me do. He is a sweetheart. Moving it down the stairs is a lot of work. So I was really, really grateful for that help. I don't really have very good stair balance. But this is where I move my stuff. Like there's my couch and so forth, which we are really considering getting rid of. It's like 20 years old. Anyway, there's my threads. Um, a lot of notions that I don't access all the time are in there. Things like laces and trims, stuff along that line. And then over here on my desk, of course, are my machines. Um, there is my main Bernina that I use all the time. The back is the serger thread cone holder. Um, my little bowl of most frequently accessed things. I also toss pins in there when I don't always feel like putting them back on that. And this container holds things like my needles and the small tools that I access extremely frequently. Also, we have the sewing feet back here, which I'm in all the time, and serger threads, and the serger itself. Right. A small interruption there, one of the kids came in. I'm sorry for all the background noise with the kids. They're in there playing and wrestling and being wild. Um, it's just that time of day. <laughs> but to finish up here real quick, and here beside is a very old wardrobe. This wardrobe is, as you can see, very beat up. It is, I think, from the 50s or 60s, um, my husband's family had it, but it makes a fantastic um, cabinet for my material and fabrics and all that stuff. Only one drawer holds things like yarns and such, so I try to limit myself to not grow beyond this particular cabinet. It is huge and it holds a lot, and there's no reason I should need any more than that. But all in all, this is the new se sewing setup area. I could have a sewing room, technically I could use the spare bedroom in this house that we rent, but for the most part, it it just doesn't uh, work out as convenient for me. I typically like to be able to sit down in the middle of the day and things like that, and that was one of the main reasons I wanted it downstairs, was so I could come down and just stay down for the day and not be going back and forth all of the time. That way if I have, you know, five, ten minutes that I can sew a few seams or something, I can just pop in here in the living room real quick and do that in between homeschooling and the various homemaking things. So anyway, this is a declutter and move of my sewing space. I hope you enjoyed. Have a blessed day.